I'm going to tell you a little bit about my life. Um, there's two parts to it, two separate tracks, and they come together at the end, so I'll start from one side. I was raised in Seattle, Washington, and I was raised in South Seattle, which there's... Anybody from Seattle here? Nobody's perfect. It's okay. I feel bad for you guys, but sorry. Right. Next year, next year. Next year, next year. Anybody from New York? He meant what he said, by the way. <laughs> he hasn't even scream or anything. That was weird. Okay. I don't know Jersey. Next! Oh, Go yeah. next! 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 Apparently, New Jersey isn't the suburb of New York. Next um, one again. And one from Ilford. From Edgeware, actually, Edgeware. Uh, we, have a, we, have a, we have a somebody. Edgeware. Edgeware, yeah. We have a somebody. We have a somebody, somebody here. Someone in the corner. <laughs> so I was raised, I was Big raised. Woo! Yeah. I don't think anybody's ever screamed for Babe Shemesh either. <laughs> <laughs> no, they do scream a lot about Although it. One time we played yeah. for the seminary and I said crack once and this girl just started going, woo! Wow, what you guys got some work ahead of you in here. <laughs> yeah. They're up to it at night. Uh, <laughs> the curfews are, you know, 10 o'clock. Curfews, curfews are extended. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> so I grew up in a neighborhood where, the, where there wasn't so many Jews. Like, I didn't have a bar mitzvah. They were walked into a shul. Um, and at a young age, my dad thought it was a good idea <clears throat> to train my brother and I, I love Shalom in full contact fighting. Like, that was a good idea. You know, you have two boys about a year apart. And when they fight, like, you know, some kids fight, and then some kids fight. And we really fought. And uh, I grew up in an area with a lot of, it was a rougher side of the Seattle. There's a lot of um, multiculturalism. And um, in high school, we used to like, you know, get together for Tupperware parties. It was good times. <laughs> and at these Tupperware parties, we usually Tupperware parties, we usually drink milk and eat cookies. People get a little tipsy off the milk, and then the thugs would show up, and they would want to show everybody in the room that they were the they were the biggest gorilla in the room. So what would happen is after they'd have a few cups of milk, they'd go pick a fight with somebody. If you haven't picked up, milk is a code word for beer. So, no. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. I lie not. We weren't having milk and cookies. Was it kosher? And there was no Tupperware. There probably was. There's plenty of cookies though. Uh, so anyway, so uh, fortunately for me, when these big thugs would pick a fight with somebody, they'd go around to the white kids and you know try to beat somebody up, and they'd get to me. And I wasn't like a small guy, but I wasn't a big guy. I was like five, ten, 170. And they take a swing at me, and then like, lights out. Cause I've been full contact fighting, wrestling, and grappling since I was three years old, and this guy can't take a swing with, with a girl. So, uh, so I get into a lot of fights, and I beat people up, and you know, it was good times, good times. <laughs> and uh, one time when I'm 19, <clears throat> I get into a fight, and, uh, and this big black guy, you know, takes a swing at me. Put him down. I put him in something called a double leg ride, which is like a UFC move. It's where I wrap both my legs around his legs, this, have him locked in, start punching, good times. Something interesting happened this time, is when I cocked back to punch him in the face, the pressure that I was putting on my leg, my foot went one way, and my ankle and my leg went the other way. And I snapped both the bones in my leg, tore all my ligaments. As a result, I had eight screws and two metal plates that are still in my leg. Couldn't walk for a year. Shortly after that, uh, I got up because it was the most pain I'd ever been in, and I hobbled away as far as I could a couple rooms away. It was a house party. And about 10 minutes later, big boy comes back in, finds me laying there, writhing on the ground, and just beats the Kadusha out of me. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it was an unbelievable experience. And it just happened to be that this beating was, was one of the best things I had in my life. So with that, we're going to play a song that you know. We're still trying to collect royalties on it. What is it? <laughs> what is it? It's all destiny. <laughs>